another version for another. My name is Jamie and I just wanted to share some of the laptop accessories that I've been using. Some are going to be no-brainers and everyone should have them, while others I think are pretty unique and we're sharing with all of you. And the first item I'd like to share, I've been using for a couple of months and it's this laptop tray that you see here. But you don't see it. Well, that's because the pumpkin layer lap desk compacts all the way down to 0.62 centimeters and it's approximately the size of a sheet of paper. And this is the prime reason I've been using it and loving it. It's so thin, I don't even notice carrying it in my bag. I live and I work in the city and it's been getting a little warmer here. So it's nice to just get outside and work from anywhere like benches, couch, bus, and airports. Sometimes I like to sit cross-legged like a child and I'm still able to work and not compromise my posture. The Pumpkin offers two adjustable angles, which again, it's gonna be great for your posture and can hold comfortably a 16 inch laptop. It also has a couple other secret weapons. One you've already been seeing here on your screen and this is a retractable trackpad. Personally, I work a lot faster with a mouse, so to be able to do so anywhere without again compromising my posture has been super convenient. Its material is soft, silky, so it's also a great place to just hold your wrist, jot down some notes, or simply hold your phone or SSD drive so it doesn't dangle, fall out, and end up corrupting your files. It can also be a great substitute for a writing pad because it also doubles as a magnetic clipboard. It's been really great, and although you might not always use it, like I mentioned, it's so easy to carry, you won't even know you have it with you. But when you need it, you'll know and you'll remember that I suggested it. Laptops, of course, are meant to be portable, so I do get comments and DMs about case recommendations for their MacBooks, but I don't use a case. Although laptops are thin, it adds to the bulk, and at the end of the day, our devices are tools, and they're meant to just be used. Now, I'm not careless with my devices, so for my laptops, I do like to slide it into this in-case laptop sleeve that I've had for about seven years. The design, I'm assuming, is not available, but it might be because it's just black. I still see these on Apple's website and the material is durable and the inside is soft. Again, I don't always use this, but if I am flying, I have to take everything out because I still don't have TSA pre-check. So this is how I like to store it. Sometimes I get away with not taking it out of the sleeve because we know they can be pretty rough and just manhandle the trays and it could just end up getting dinged up. So it might not be the solution that you need, but I've been very happy with the quality of this laptop sleeve. It also has a small zipper pocket here where I like to keep a polishing cloth as well as my elephant card iPhone mount. Again, this is so thin that you won't always need or use it, but it's easy enough to just have with you all the time for when the cases that you do. And as far as what it does, it converts to an iPhone mount that can be used to attach the back of any MacBook model. And you don't have to worry about having a MagSafe version iPhone so you can take advantage of things like continuity camera. Although the MacBook or iPhone model don't necessarily matter, you'll want to make sure that you're running iOS 16 and macOS Ventura to unlock this feature that allows you to use the camera of your iPhone in place of your webcam. I don't always use my iPhone for team calls, just the important ones to take advantage of the better picture quality. It's small, it's light, it's a card, so it can fit right into your wallet. But personally, I like to slide it right into the sleeve of my end case. Now I already teased the SSD drive earlier, but this one in particular is Samsung's T7 Tough. It has the same fast read and write speeds that you might already know about from the T7 line, but this one in particular is a little bit more rugged, so it's great if you are sharing with other people because who knows how they treat their electronics. Honestly, I don't do anything tough. It was just cheaper when I bought it on Black Friday, but I do prefer it over the fingerprint T7. I got that one because I thought it was pretty cool, but my files aren't sensitive. I just have camera footage here and I always just end up forgetting to unlock it and it's just an extra additional step. Speaking of camera footage, I also always carry with me the Apple SD card reader. It's great if you have a MacBook Air or iPad, but although the M1 MacBook Pros do have a built-in SD card slot, I find it only gets it right about 20% of the time on its first try. Someone tell me if it's better than the M2s. I also like to offload multiple SD cards and this allowed me to use two at the same time. So yeah, I don't leave home without it, but because I do have the M1 Max MacBook Pro, I do sometimes leave home without my charger. Battery life has been great a year plus later, although my battery health isn't doing so great, 
but I'm digressing. When I do take my charger, I use this cord organizer you see here, and I've also had this for a couple of years now, and it's great and it's simple. It just keeps your cord from getting all tangled up and damaged in your bag. It's actually the second one that I've purchased because the power brick here, it grew inside. And as you can see, I still charge via USB-C. But yeah, those are just some of the accessories I can honestly recommend for your laptop. Some were MacBook specific, but not all of them, but they were all relatively affordable. Of course, I'll leave everything linked down below. Let me know of any accessories I should be using and sharing. And until next time, see ya.